Um, my name is Carla Claudio. I'm 20 years old, and I was born and raised in San Juan, uh, Puerto Rico. Why did I decide to become an artist? Um, I sort of knew that I wanted to work or be involved with art since a very young age. I just remember in like kindergarten or pre-kinder drawing or coloring in my in some sort of like coloring children's book and I was like, you know, this feels pretty good and I want to keep doing it and that's what I did. I kept doing it and it became a really um sort of a default part of my life. I need to create all the time. Um, my major in the school is new genres and film. Um, is there a specific event person that inspired me? Well, as I said, um, as a kid, I've always, from a very young age, I wanted to be an artist, but I never took it seriously until I came across, I would say, Frida Kahlo. Um, I guess she, through her, I learned to use art as for, uh, some sort of like therapy to get like shit out of my system and, and feel better. But after that, um, I guess I moved on from that, from art being therapy for myself. And I would say Christoph Budisco really impacted me. He does a lot of like social work, he designs like vehicles for, for homeless people and that sort of thing. And I find that really like interesting and innovative. Um, do I have an artistic background? I've taken some classes, but I began to like really take it seriously since I was like, like 13, 14. My parents are not artists. My dad is a physician and my mom is a, like an administrator. She administrates my dad's uh, clinic. And my grandmother was an actress, a soap opera actress for radio and TV. And yeah, my parents support me a lot, sometimes too much, <laughs> more too much. And um, I work with, I've worked with painting, drawing, um, sculpture. Re uh, recently I've been working with video and installation performance. Because, I mean, I, I'm working with video because I think it's more like immediate um, medium, it's faster, and people are more attracted to it, like the general public is more attracted to it, I think, and have access to it. Um, in art school, I hope to gain knowledge, experience, and mostly um, meet people that I can collaborate with in the future. And what do I demand from my teachers? I, I expect them to sort of not go beyond that sort of teacher-student relationship and see me more as like a friend, as a, you know, like uh, they understand that I can also teach them something somehow. So I guess respect too. Um, what, what is an art career? Um, it depends what kind of career someone who lives from their art, but it could be someone who, yeah, I guess someone who makes money from their art, but it could be something, someone that makes art with other people. Um, I don't have a gallery or a dealer. My studio, as of now, I don't have a studio. I've been working with video, so mostly I'm like in my computer and my sketchbook is sort of my, like my studio. So it's sort of like a, a portable studio. Uh, definition of art, I'm not gonna answer that because it's the kind of question that makes you look really stupid. And, <laughs> <laughs> and how long will it take me to become a professional artist? I really don't know what you mean by that. Do you think life is art? Um, yeah, I think that everything is art. I think that you, art is like looking for creative solutions.
for any sort of problem that you face throughout um, daily life. You could be really good um, being a host at a party. You could be really good looking for a, a certain equation formula for a good medicine. I think everything is art. Everything you do. Uh, my favorite artists, Christoph Rodisco, Barbara Kruger. They do a lot of social work. They use, they're really into using uh, like mass media, mass media. Do I have an artist boyfriend? No. I've dated musicians and I don't recommend it. They're conceited <laughs> bastards. And can only artists truly understand art? I, no. And my favorite website, I would say ubu.com is a really good website.